Ben here, one of the developers of Hackwars. I'm just going to go through the steps necessary to get your first attack going. So after we OK the certificate, we just type in the username and password we just signed up for on the Hackwars site. Hit login, and uh, after a few seconds we'll get a pop-up with the game. So once the game is up and running, the first thing I want to point you towards is the chat down at the bottom. There is a section for help. I recommend asking questions here, and there's usually a dev in there if you have any troubles getting started. It's a, there are some complicated aspects of the game, but I think you'll find it's pretty manageable. Next thing we want to do is buy our basic free application. So I'm going to go to Internet Web Browser. You could also go to Store, but I'm going to show you the Places bar. So I'm going to click on Store in Places. Then I'm going to buy my basic bank, which is uh, how I withdraw to my petty cash and deposit from my petty cash to my bank account again. There's a cut when you do that, and we'll get into that a bit later. Next, we get our basic attack for attacking. And finally, our basic HTTP, which determines our daily pay and lets us have a website. And FTP, which basically lets us transfer files between players and have a store in our website eventually. So we have those, and we can look at a conf confirmation message down at the bottom to see that we uh, actually did purchase the files and game messages. Next thing I want to do is go to System Administration and Port Management and actually install that application, so I get those applications I got. So I click on Install Application. First, I throw my attack on. This is, like I said, for attacking NPCs. The second thing I want to do is throw my bank on so I can do some transactions. Next thing, I'm going to add my FTP on. Now I'm going to attempt to put my HTTP on, but if we were to look at our CPU, we'd see that we're actually getting pretty close to our maximum load, so this doesn't actually work. So what I'm going to have to do is turn off my FTP before I can throw it on. Your first CPU is somewhat of a beater, so you'll want to upgrade it as soon as possible. So there we go, throw my HTTP on, but since I'm about to attack an NPC, I kind of want to throw this off too, so that I have as much CPU available as possible. Now lastly, I want to set my attack and my bank to default, and this determines which ones are called by default when I call attack from one of the menus, or withdraw from one of the menus. So next thing I'm going to do is withdraw 20 bucks because it costs $10 to attack an NPC and it costs $10 to scan an NPC, which we're going to do next. So I better take $20 out. Now, assuming I've set them to default and uh, I set my bank to default, I should now have $20 in my petty cash, which I do. <laughs> so next thing we need to do is find an NPC to attack. So I'm again going to go to Internet Web Browser. I'm going to go to Places again and search. And all the NPCs are public domain books, so I'm going to try searching for Marion, which is the easiest book we've thrown in. And this is just a good way to distinguish NPCs. You'll see there's many of them. I'm going to just grab a random one, and the important thing is their IP, which we see listed here. So taking a look at this IP, we're now going to go to Applications and scan the IP to see what sorts of applications they have installed on their port manager. So I type the IP in here from the website. And like I just added applications to certain ports, this will show me which ports they have their applications on. So next thing is I pick one to attack. I'm going to go with FTP, I think, because this will let me steal files and hardware, which would be good to have at this point. So I just check the little box there. And then hit attack, and I should get my attack window popping up. If you take a look at the top of your attack window, it has a port number which should correspond with the attack port you just installed. Eventually you can, you can explicitly run other attacks from your port manager, so it's important to keep track of this number. So next thing I do is I click attack, which I just did, and we see we start dealing damage. Now we're low level, so it's going to take a little while to actually kill our opponent, so I'm just going to take a bit of a break here and I'll be back. Alright, good to see you again. What just happened now is we uh, leveled up a level, so I thought I'd point this out. So we see we're level 2 attack now. We get experience for every damage we deal. That's what just happened. Alright, 
So we're about to finish this attack, so we see we're about to hit our 120 damage, which is uh, what it takes to kill an NPC at this level because they're healing. So we now have the option to steal a file or peek at code. I'm going to steal a file. And there you go. We can take our file and we've successfully hacked the computer and hacked words.